are finally here. We're inside the dry dock, guys. It is a long day yesterday. Long, long day, man. We didn't, we didn't finish that around what, 10 o'clock at night. We started early because uh, we supposedly we scheduled to come in here at 10 o'clock yesterday. But guess what? It was the most ridiculous thing. When we were getting ready to go in here, we were just ducked outside. Apparently, we needed a pilot to come in here. We needed a pilot. That was ridiculous, man. We didn't need a pilot to come up here, the river, but suddenly we needed the pilots. The reason why we're here, because uh, we have some uh, unexpected repairs on our port side shaft. Because we heard some weird noises on, uh, on our way to Gibraltar last month. This morning is confirmed it's a catalyst bearing. And hopefully we will do the repairs on time because we are scheduled to get out of this dry dock on Monday. Because there is the one big uh, tugboat on the front that is actually here first. And then the schedule to go out on Monday. So hopefully we will make all the repairs in time and then uh, we'll get going with our season. Right, guys, we're here in Las Teleros de Gualdalquiver. It's in Seville. We're only about two miles where we were on the city there. So we're here on the dry dock. Luckily, we have a dry dock close by for some uh, emergency repair. This is not a usual uh, dry dock, man. We're, we're used to, uh, we used to travel left in Palma. We've been spoiled, but this is interesting. This is the original, hence the name dry dock. And then uh, this thing is quite big, man, but there is a lot bigger dry dock than this. But this is big because maybe we're just small. But I give you an idea how big this thing is. This is just our rough calculation. But it's, uh, we calculated it. It's 150 meters lengthwise, 25 meters across, 12 meters the depth. We, we multiply it, so it went to 45,000 cubic meter of water inside this uh, dry dock. That's a lot of water. That's the equivalent of about eight times the size of the Olympic size pool. To fill this, also it will only take them three hours to fill this. But to drain them, it takes so long. It was eight hours to drain the whole thing. Where am I, am I standing now? This is the, the actual door. This is like a bullshit in itself. So when uh, they're pulling the water on, once it's uh, full, they actually pump the water out of this, and then this thing will float, and then they'll just, they'll just drag it sideways over there. When they're draining it, they will close this door, and then fill this, door with water and then sink it in and then just the weight of the water outside it will just keep this door locked in so anyway that's just a quick recap for the shipyard guys and then uh, i'll see you guys later yeah man this is my job Pushing a reel around. All right. There's a few disadvantages on a, on, a, on an old school uh, dry dock like this because uh, if you need something something like steps, cherry picker, scaffolding, all all like anything you need, you have to send it down here by crane, man. And then and once they flood the whole dry dock to get to let the boat out. Obviously, they're gonna take everything up. Nothing get left behind before they start flooding the the whole uh, dry dock. Another disadvantage is, is once they open the gate up and then let the water in, there's a lot of fish that goes inside. And then once they pump the water out, they all get left behind and die. A lot of fish and some crabs died here when uh, they drain the water out. You know that's that's the disadvantages, but. You know, all right. So we'll keep going with our washing. All right. Where do you guys think you're going? Town. You're gonna leave me behind. <laughs> Welcome to come with us. Well, enjoy, eh? All right, man. Thanks a lot. Today is June the tenth. This is our ninth day on the shipyard. We were four days on the dock outside, waiting for our 
time to go in the dry dock and this is our fifth day inside it. The last few days, there wasn't a lot going on on our purpose of going in here to repair the shaft, the catalyst bearing. They're going on there now, our chief engineer is not very happy, so of the whole situation, so he's right there now. And then, the rest of the guys are out, because it's our day of today, except me, I'm on watch. This place is a little bit of a shithole because it's in the middle of the industrial area. And then you really need to make an airport to go up on the steps, probably around 80 steps up there. And then catch a taxi or over. I'm gonna go check down there later on, we'll see. All right, okay. this is our chief engineer right here. Mike, what's, what's your take? So we've re got to replace one of the cutlass bearings because uh, they got a bit dry and hot. Yeah. So um, to do that, we've got to take the shafts apart. We've got three sections of shaft. And yeah, the one of the muff couplings between the two sections has uh, developed a major leak and is um, going to need a lot of attention to make it right. I but think we're going to make it in uh, Probably delayed us a little bit a little beyond Monday now. All right. Good. Fish almost finished. We All are right. we just need to assemble the propeller and then we are done. Well, that's good. Morning today is uh, Monday, the 12th of June. They've worked the whole day yesterday to put uh, the shaft and the propeller back together. So we'll be able to get out. They'll be flooding this. Uh, we'll be flooding the dry dock sometime this morning. And then we're gonna go out for a sea trial. We'll see what if this thing is fixed. Uh, finally, there's a problem in, in one of the coupling thread. So I don't know exactly what happened there, but uh, so sometime today they will flood this. Uh, they will flood this uh, dry dock. You see it? Huh? Alright, we're flooding guys. We're flooding! back on the dock we managed to get out of the, uh, uh, the dry dock over there what an experience what a few days of experience over there we ran into some unexpected problems on our shop it's not completely fixed yet so you know thanks to everyone involved especially to our engineers especially to Mike we managed to put everything back together and just get out of that hole there man you know we're back on the dock now, marking the end of this video as well, guys. You know, it, hopefully this video have given you some ideas, you know, given you, you know, a glimpse of what it's like to be on, inside that shipyard. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Let's pass this to 2,000 subscriber mark. And I will see you again, guys, on my next next adventure ciao for now